Jose here. Be sure to follow us for all of our adventures. We are Welcome to San Jose. Well, hi there. Hi everybody, we are Welcome to San Jose. I'm Sam and this is Jose. And today we're at SeaWorld Orlando to try out their brand new roller coaster, Icebreaker. Uh -huh. You excited, Jose? Ah, so excited. So we really love coming to SeaWorld on these special days because this is a date day for us. Being locals to Orlando, it's really great to be an annual pass holder and being able to pop into the parks for a quick little getaway, our little getaway. So today's outing is to experience this brand new coaster that's right here behind us. Look at that. Now Icebreaker was built by Premier Rides and is brand new this year, even though it was supposed to open back in 2020. Uh, COVID delayed it, but now we've got it and it's amazing. has four launches, two forward, two backwards, and then it goes through a series of elements that are will just whip you into shape because it's a it's a fun little coaster. It's got a lot of pep and speed. Yeah. Let's go check it out. We're doing it. Four launches. We're starting with four launches. Two forward, two backwards. That coaster really does have a lot of pep. <laughs> it whips you around. Uh, we rode it three times. The front, the back, and then the front the again. Front again. <laughs> uh, we like the front. It's a little less shaky, and um, the back just whips you around like a whip. There's no other, just whips you around. I mean, any coaster is like that. Back is always <laughs> kind of where you feel the most, you know, not stable because you're getting all the the quick turns and everything. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. I mean, it's for a small little coaster like that. It's a fun ride. It's a really good addition to SeaWorld. Uh, it's in a location where no other ride was. So it's a brand new addition, which is really, really great. And uh, it helps just kind of fill out your day here at SeaWorld. So over here by Wild Arctic, they've completely kind of rethemed this area to be more of that Arctic theme with Icebreaker here. Uh, so you have Wild Arctic, which is of course, where the beluga whales are, um, all of that cold water habitat type wildlife. Uh, they have, um, the burger place over here is now Altitude Burgers for high altitude, cold places. And then you have Icebreaker, which is the new coaster right over here by Shamu Stadium and Sesame Street. So it's kind of a nice little area. You've got the Glacier Bar as well, um, where we really enjoy uh, hiding from the rain. We've hidden yeah. from the rain there, a uh, rainstorm, gotten a drink and just enjoyed the time that we had there. Uh, but yeah, they've got a whole themed area over here now, um, the cold part of the world. So since we're here, we might as well go ride Mako. Do it. Let's do it, another coaster. Um, like I said, this is a date day, right? So if we're gonna come have fun, we might as well have some fun. We're going to Mako. Let's call it Mako. Mako? Mako? A mecha shark. It's a windy day. What had the fans on? Oh, the fans are on too. <laughs> I was like, why? <laughs>
are all done at SeaWorld. We rode a couple of rides, the new Icebreaker Coaster and Mako, and we are now done. And that's the great thing about being a local. We did what we wanted to do, and now we're done. All right. Now we go back to our regular lives, regularly scheduled programming in Orlando. Thanks for joining us. We are welcome to San Jose. I might be getting too old for busters. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it. We did make coke. Very expensive. Tropical, like beach trees. Uh, <laughs>